Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth. So viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to accept the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. I am so excited to finally be doing one of these videos because I know it's been a minute and I, one, mama needs a drink. <laughs> Two, I need to be snarky about makeup. Have you seen the recent releases? Come on, come on, okay. <laughs> Anyway, I have to compose myself. If you've never heard of New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, this idea was created and crafted by my wonderful friend Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video. We comb through Instagram, take all the top makeup products of the week or the past two weeks, throw them in a folder, use a random number generator, and we pull the images as if we were playing bingo. But to make it that much sweeter, we have a couple of adult libations to go with it because nothing is more fun than playing bingo than being inebriated. I'm gonna leave down Emily's information down below, but Emily's traveling right now, so she's not gonna be having a video, but I believe she'll be back next week. Without further ado, here are the possible makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, bitch. Welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers, y'all. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> First of all, I know everyone's gonna be freaking out. Yes, I got the new Starbucks cup. Uh-huh, I did, okay. I went to literally two and a half Starbucks. I went to two actual Starbucks and then I went to a Tarbucks, also known as the Target Starbucks. And this cup, this beautiful beacon of light, this thing that's supposed to be summer but really is Halloween, was the only cup sitting on the shelf and you bet your ass I ran over and scooped that bitch up because I knew this is coming home with me. I also got the orange one too, but the green one is obviously the fucking best. Look how cute this is. Okay. <laughs> anyway, in my cup today, I have Tito's vodka. Why? Because I love it and I'm a brand loyalist. <laughs> But what I paired it with is from Gamerceps and it's called Emotional Damage. I've been going through it lately, <laughs> okay? I don't know if it shows, but I've been going through it lately. And I feel like that drink just pairs well with my overall outlook on life. <laughs> anyway, let's just take a drink and just forget what I said. Ooh, bitch, that is just, that's just good. <laughs> I'm not saying that you need to mix vodka with it, but if you did, um, I will say it enhances its flavor. <laughs> so do with you will, do what you will, what you will. The fuck does that, do, do whatever you gotta do, whatever. Just don't do it in my house. Okay, let's talk about some makeup. I have a lot of stuff and I hope that we, what is threads? But okay, by the way, I'm on threads. I don't know, I abandoned Twitter before it got really weird. Now it's really weird, now it's really weird. <laughs> Now it's really weird and I'm kind of glad that I did abandon Twitter. It was just a lot of like just, just bullshit over there. Anyway, I'm on threads. I, I don't know for how long. Follow me on threads. It's kind of like Facebook and Twitter, but there's Instagram. You can add a picture. I don't know what this is. And I feel like it's Skynet. It's gonna, maybe because I'm watching too much Terminator. It's gonna take over the world. So I might as well just be in front of it, okay? Be a part of the problem. <laughs> Not a part of the solution. What am I saying? Anyway, go follow me on threads. Sometimes I'll leave gems like this. I don't know. <laughs> Why do you watch me? Okay, so let's talk about some makeup today. Boopity beep boo. <laughs> I hate these. <laughs> 
I hate these so much. Um, this is from Too Faced. First of all, I was like, oh, what is this? It's like a, a mashup between Makeup Revolution and Violet Voss. It's giving that same just energy of like just the bare minimum, which I'm actually quite surprised about because Too Faced usually kills it with her packaging. The contents of it, <laughs> but the outside at least is pretty, okay? And that's really all we judge here. <laughs> But these are just so, I don't get it. I don't get it. First of all, they release these color stories so many times over. If you look at any holiday season, pick a fucking year, okay? You're gonna find at least two palettes that have similar color stories to this. Go ahead, try me. You're gonna find them, okay? They literally copy pasta everything that they do. So let me tell you a little bit more about these little treasures. You have the Pop Tart Strawberry Mini Eyeshadow Palette retails for $27. That's a lot for shitty makeup. Eight vibrant frosted strawberry pop tart inspired shades. Are they though, really? And then you have the brown sugar cinnamon mini eyeshadow palette. Again, retailing for $27. That one looks Okay, you know what? Maybe the frosted strawberry. Okay, I, maybe I could see some what of a correlation. Although, the fucking doesn't that bitch have fucking? It has sprinkles. Like I feel like I would have respected this palette a lot more if they had like a pop of green in there. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, okay, sprinkle, got it. Like keep the shit mostly pink, but throw a bitch a green. Green and pink go together. But when it comes to the brown sugar one though, you released this before. What was that one little tin palette with the little flame match sticky thing? Isn't that the same thing? Isn't this the same palette? What the fuck? It just doesn't have the yellow in it? I can't. The brown sugar one to me is less forgivable. But again, going back to the packaging, what the fuck is this? I expect this shitty brand to have stellar packaging. They always kill it with their little tin palettes. Even their mini tin palettes, they usually have some sort of cute design on it. What the fuck is this? Like. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me Ulta energy. <laughs> I really hate it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it, Daddy. And I just want this to stop. Anyway, um, apparently 12,000 people love <laughs> Love this shit. Re Why? Y'all are fucking weird. Why do you love it so much? People are, are agreeing. Okay, thank God. I was scared. I was scared. When you see an overwhelming amount of people liking something, it's like you get terrified a little bit because you're just like, oh God, what the hell? But thankfully, people feel the same way. They think it looks like shit because it is shit. So yeah, this is a no. Also, Pop-Tarts, people are not probably going to unsubscribe. Pop-Tarts are overrated. They're not that good. They're not that good. I'm sorry. Toaster strudel or nothing, okay? And even then, toaster strudel with more fruit is still still like, mm, it's okay. It's still not like fucking amazing. I would prefer eggs. If anything, if I had a choice, I actually I'd rather eat nothing really. Toaster pastries in general. No, unless it's like a chocolate croissant, like don't fucking talk to me, okay? So this is a no. Absolutely not. But I'm gonna be nice though, because I want to call it major copycat vibes because it is really giving me makeup revolution. Violet Boss had a baby, but I've already kicked them. <laughs> And you know what? Like, I should be nice this summer. So we're gonna call this a food theme makeup release. Um, but yeah, if you do buy this, I would judge you. Next. Okay, so this product to me is a motherfucking catfish, okay? It's a catfish. So Huda Beauty, our good friends over at Huda Beauty, is coming out with the One Coat Wow Mascara, retailing for $23. Extra volumizing and lifting dual-sided brush that coats and defines every lash from Mega Curl. Uh, you know, yeah, no, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I feel so bad because I know for the longest time I was like, oh my God, Sean Sakai all the way. And I really do, like that's a great mascara, but it's also like $70, okay? Like that is ridiculous. Then I found the L'Oreal, I was about to say Liscopic Tilt. <laughs> Telescopic Lift. <laughs> this one. I love it. Okay, it's, what is it, like $12.99 or $14.99? I can't stop using it. Every video since trying this mascara, I would say it's either this or the Maybelline one. The Maybelline one is great, but this one is better. And what kills me is that this is a really great product, and I hate that lash gate. Technically, like, in a way, tainted this product, right? This is a good fucking product. This is really great. This is fucking great. So I find that, like, spending even $23, I'm like, I don't know about this one. I look at this and I think to myself, you make heavy claims, but I feel like what you're gonna get is literally clumpy, sharp dagger mascara. This shit looks sharp. If you look at some of the photos, I am terrified of the eye, okay? 
<laughs> the fucking eyelashes look so sharp. It looks like it has a knife. I don't like it. I don't like it. They actually look so sharp that I'm afraid that if I touch it, it's gonna break off. And I hate when mascara does this. So I feel like this is kind of a catfish. You think you're gonna get this amazing thing in one coat, when in reality, Actually, you know what's really weird? I call this bullshit because there's no way one coat would look like this. This, this looks clumpy as fuck. <laughs> It looks clumpy. This looks like you definitely laid on at least six to seven coats. And it's starting to like fucking solidify with other lashes to make you look like the Rugrat Cynthia doll. This is a no for me, dog. It sucks because I love the claims of something that's extra volumizing, something that has like a lift and a curl. For those bitches like myself that do not like to wear false lashes because fuck false lashes. Fuck you, I don't care. I don't want to put glue anywhere near my eye. So looking for a mascara that will give me the same effect sounds beautiful. But but like, don't bullshit a bullshitter, you know what I mean? Like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. This is the kind of mascara that would trick you into like a weird money laundering scheme. <laughs> Where I'm buying gift cards, they're buying gift cards. I don't like it. Am I gonna try it? Probably. <laughs> if this ever comes to Sephora and there's a Sephora sale, that's the only time I would actually pick this up because I, I, I am, listen, at the end of the day, I talk a lot of shit, but I am curious because, you know, I'm a stupid bitch. <laughs> be interested to see if I was right because I probably am right um so yeah this is a no no for me this is stupid I hate it I <laughs> this is a catfish this bitch is catfishing me to thinking that she is going to be everything that I wanted to be and we all know it's just some fat bald man in the basement <laughs> I just I just I, it's a no for me it's a no for me next Okay, I kind of love this, and I hate it admitting that I do. <laughs> so Natasha Denona, our good friends over at Natasha Denona, is coming out with the mini starlet palette. Shine like a star for the night with the Natasha Denona mini starlet, an out-of-this-world eyeshadow palette inspired by the glamour of a starry night. It doesn't make sense to me, but okay. Taken from Natasha Denona's classic star eyeshadow palette, the mini compact arrived with five celestial pink tone shades from the original Astral palette. The eyeshadow palette features three rich mattes, a luminous shimmer, and a chroma crystal eyeshadow so you could twinkle like the stars. Effortless to blend and soft to the touch, the formulas gracefully glide onto the eye contour almost as magical as moon dust. Um, you didn't have to go through all that shit. I would have just happily bought this um, as is. I don't own the star palette or whatever. I don't own that one. So these are new shades to me, but I mean, this shit is basic as fuck. If this is not the definition of an Ann palette, I don't know what is. But bitch, I want it. I want it. I love pink shades like this. I love the dusty pinks, purples. Like, I live for this. Which is really funny because I want to say, let me see. I have, what I'm wearing today on my face is the Glaminatrix Nearly Neutral palette. This is a great fucking palette. There is definitely some overlap. Um... <laughs> definitely some overlap here. Do I really need the Natasha Denona one? Probably not. Am I still gonna get it? Probably because I'm a sucker for punishment and I really love Natasha Denona's mini palettes. I think they're actually better than some of their bigger palettes. So I want this. It's stupid. I recognize that but I want it though. Oh god the shades look so dusty and fun. I you know what? I, actually, I could think of other palettes. The, the fucking Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty. That's pretty much the same color story. I, okay, there's at least mm, 55 palettes <laughs> that I have that have um, this color story. But it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me. I love these romantic pink wedding shades. Like, I kind of just call them wedding shades. Essentially, that's what it is. And they just look so fucking good. They're so good. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. Oh yeah, it's probably like pillow talk too, right? So I mean, yeah, I have this. I have this palette 20 times over, but I'm still gonna buy it <laughs> because I'm a, f I'm a stupid bitch. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. I drink to that. You drink to that? I drink to that. Let me tell you something. Drinking out of this cup just makes things so much more enjoyable. Just saying. Go to your local Starbucks. I'm a fan. I love this. It's stupid. I already have it. I don't give a fuck. I want it. And I can't wait for this to come out. That said, we're going to call this little bitch an Ann palette because she is an Ann palette. She is dusty as fuck. And I hear her calling for someone's manager.
Okay, I love this and I can't wait to try these. So LA Girl Cosmetics, which is a wonderful drugstore brand, is coming out with duochrome shades, which at first I was like, aren't these fucking multi-chromes? You could have fooled me, but I guess they're duochromes, but fine. Okay, cool. Anyway, they come in either powder or liquid form. I probably wouldn't fuck with the liquid form, only because usually liquid shadows uh, kind of has like a spicy butthole effect, especially when they are usually fun duochrome or multi-chromes. And plus, I mean, I have hooded eyes. That shit's gonna crease. I don't give a fuck about it. We want powder here, okay? Powder is the way to go. And these just look so good. I'm so happy to see that now drugstore brands are starting to do this. For a while, you could only find really kind of like fun out there makeup through indie brands. And then some of the high-end brands started to kind of like dip their toes in there, as well as like the mid-range brands. But we need like a cheaper, lower price point, right? So I kind of love the fact that LA Girl is like stepping their pussy up to release something like this. So this looks really fun fucking cool to me. And I would probably pick up all shades just to try them. For $6, it's a fucking steal. I'm not gonna lie though, I wish it was like in a palette form, but whatever. I think when it comes to like single shadows, like I love the idea and the concept of them, but in reality, am I really gonna be using them? No, I kind of gravitate to palettes more, but that's just me. So if I cannot find these in the store, which I don't know if they're ever gonna be released in the store, then I will definitely pick them up on their website. LA Girl, if you ever want to get fabulous, fantastic eyeliners, like fantastic eyeliners, they're shockwave eyeliners are fucking great and they're sensitive eye friendly and they actually last in the waterline. A lot of eyeliners these days do not last. They say that they do but they don't. Uh, LA Girl is probably one of the best drugstore brands when it comes to eyeliner. So I have high hopes for their eyeshadows. I really do. Wouldn't fuck with the liquid but that powder is I'm all about it. Fucking love that. Anyway I was gonna call these all the multi-chromes but they're duochromes so nope. <laughs> I guess we can't call them anything. So we'll just say, you know what? Put these on my face. Put these on me motherfucking eyes. Next. Oh, bitch, wait, footnote. They are available at Ulta, but they're not $6. They're actually $9. I'm still okay with it, but like, fuck. <laughs> Actually, wait, are they? I feel like I've seen indie brands that have cheaper fucking duochromes. Huh. I feel about this one. I still want to put it on my fucking face, but I'm kind of like side-eyeing it a little bit. Okay, all right, I see you, bitch. Okay, next. <laughs> Okay, I kind of fucking love this. I love this, not all of it, but I love most of this though. So Chanel released their fall collection and I fucking love their powder products. I really, really do. So in this collection, you have loose eyeshadow. I didn't even know they had loose eyeshadow. Why would you want that? <laughs> I feel like why? I don't know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? But I feel like it's just so fucking messy. Ghosts in this room, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, like why would, that was weird. Fuck, it made me lose train of thought. <laughs> damn you ghosts, damn you. Okay. <laughs> it is spooky season after all. I guess it makes sense. I'm just gonna keep drinking. I feel like I'm a cliche in a horror movie, but if this is the last video you see, it's been a good run. <laughs> oh God, okay. Okay, let's, uh, hold on. Let me, let me regroup for a second. Hold on a second. Hi, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> loose eyeshadow. Nobody cares, okay? <laughs> Moving on. Then you have, I don't, are these, what are these? I don't even know what these are. What, what are you? I think these are blushes, right? What are these? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think they're blushes. Yeah, they are blushes. Okay. Oh, fucking, I need to learn how to speak another language. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what any of this means. All right. So then you have two blushes, which you have like a mauve blush and then you have like a brownish coral blush. I want both of them. They are so fucking pretty. I want both of them. They make my heart skip a beat. That is beautiful pan embossing right there. And I know like it's going to be a solid product, albeit basic, but it's always like timeless and effortless and just beautiful on the face. A Chanel blush is worth checking out. I'll never forget Michelle Wong took off my little training wheels <laughs> in a Saks Fifth Avenue and she was like, here, 
get this. And I'm like, I will. And it, I never fucking look back ever since. And then my beautiful friend Mel Thompson gifted me another Chanel blush. It has been nonstop ever since. Like I love Chanel blushes. This is everything. I need those two. I need them. I need them. I need them right now. Then you have uh, two nail polishes, which nail polishes are fine. Eh, whatever. And then you have a shitload of lipsticks, which I love them. They're basic bitch fall colors. They're definitely my speed, especially the top row. Like fuck me up. But the blushes though are like the main star here. They are so pretty and they're just so perfect for fall and winter and I cannot wait to bathe in them. So uh, with that said, I'm going to call these, I'm going to call them pretty embossing basic makeup because I mean, like, as much as I'm like gushing about them, it's, you know, basic bitch colors or whatever. It's a basic kind of formula, but it's such a good formula though. It's like basic in the best way possible. It's almost a crime to call them basic, but it kind of is. It's kind of basic, but it's kind of not. <laughs> So we're gonna call it pretty embossing basic makeup. Mm -hmm. I feel good about that. Next. Oh baby, I, I, I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't like this color at all. So uh, Dyson is coming out with um, a new color. It's a topaz color. Um, I guess, you know what? It's like the Diablo version of the Dyson Airwrap, I suppose, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yep, it's the Diablo edition. Um, and when I say it like that, it makes me kind of want it a little bit more. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> if you know, you know. So um, Dyson is coming out with a new color for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which by the way, do you want to see me do a video about the anniversary sale? I don't know, like talking about some things that I would pick up or avoid. I don't know, let me know down below. Press the number five to let me know if you wanna see that. And then maybe I'll do it. If not, then I won't fucking do it. I guess one of the big hot ticket items uh, during the anniversary sale is the release of this product in Topaz. Um, I'm not a big fan of the air wrap. Uh, it broke my hair, fucking hate it. It can go to hell. But let me tell you though, if this was the release of uh, the products that I think was featured in like a couple of makeup bingo videos ago uh, in that like 90s style retro packaging, <laughs> bitch, you better believe I would fucking buy it. I, I would buy it. Even though I would never use it just to look at it because I am a sick bitch and... <laughs> And, and that's what, yeah, you know what? Whatever, I don't have kids, okay? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. And if that means buying something to look at it, that means buying something to look at it, okay? But if it was that packaging, oh, you best believe I'd fucking pick it up. I'd pick it up in a heartbeat. But the Diablo version, I mean, it's nice, but it's like, eh, it's not my cup of tea. Ooh, bitch. They also have a Diablo version of the hair dryer for $4.29. Okay, bitch. I like that. The air wrap is normally $6.60, the value of it, but it's retailing for $5.99, which I believe that's the normal price of it anyway. So they must be throwing in maybe a couple attachments that are new or whatever to, I guess, make it worth it a little bit more. But then there's also the supersonic hair dryer for $4.29, uh, which is a $4.90 value. I don't know what you get with the hair dryer. I imagine it's probably a brush, but not like a fun fucking case. So that kind of Sucks. I know I've said this in the past, but I kind of almost wish that you can do like a refresh with your products because if you want to like change the skin of it, like even if you had to pay like 50 bucks or something like that, just to kind of get like a brand new look and feel, I would totally fucking do it. I would totally do it in a heartbeat. As much as I love the Dyson products that I do own, like I have the cordless straightener that's in like the classic like black and pink packaging. And then I have my hair dryer, which is, I believe it's like a copper kind of a packaging. It's still very pretty, but I wish I could kind of refresh fresh them to go out and like spend you know six hundred dollars or four hundred dollars every time they drop a new color is fucking lunacy unless they release that 90s style one then i would buy all three <laughs> i would take out a small loan <laughs> So I guess what it comes down to, I, I say a lot of shit, but if it came down to the right color, I would literally buy everything. I'm ridiculous. Anyway, we're gonna call the same shit new packaging. It's the same shit, just new shiny packaging. But let me know if you wanna see me do a Nordstrom video. I don't know, I kind of feel like I need to, but only if you want it though. Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking of copycat vibes, kimchi is coming out, or they actually did, oh, it did. <sighs> never mind. Um, I saw the price. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. Kimchi is coming out with a little electric fan with <laughs> three adjustable speeds, USB rechargeable, $35. It looks like a tiny Dyson fan. Oh, I love this. Oh, I want this. I hate 
that I want this so much. I hate that I want this so much. It's so stupid. It's $35. I love my stupid Nimia one, which I don't even know what the fuck it is. Maybe I should buy this one because I don't know what a Nimia one is. <laughs> Am I gonna buy this? Oh God, I, oh, come on. Come on, you don't need this. But do you though? Do you really? I do need this. I do need this. <laughs> Let me buy this, daddy. I, I love this. I hate how much I love this. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I'm really trying to not buy this right now. <laughs> I'm really like trying to be like, you don't need this, girl. You don't need this. I've been going through it. I deserve a little present, all right? And that has to be a stupid fucking fan. <laughs> That I will only use when putting setting spray on. What is my life? What is my life? God, you know what? It's free. This, this is free. <laughs> this is free. Actually, technically not really because I bought this fucking mirror. Okay, what is free? This is free. <laughs> I could do this. But a $35 fan is just so much more. It's so cool looking. It's so cool. I think it's fucking awesome. I just hate the price. I hate the price. It's so dumb. Okay, wait a second. All right, now I'm reading the comments. People are like, this is this is Timu fan. This is a Timu fan. I, hold on. I'm gonna go look at Timu right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got $100 from just going on their site? How is that possible? Okay. Oh, I'm lucky. Wait, what? I got... <laughs> This feels like a scam. <laughs> I got gems. Okay. Okay, this is confusing me. Oh, I got a $19 coupon bundle. Okay. What was I shopping for? <laughs> Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Um, mini fan. Okay, I'm like seeing tiny fans. Got it. Oh, bitch, that fan's $5.98. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, bitch. Kimchi, what you doing, bitch? What are you doing? Your design is not that cute to be charging $35. I mean, it is kind of cute, but I can literally go on Timu and just buy a, oh, a 90s fan for $5. And it has cat ears, bitch. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm buying this, but not this one. I think I'm going to continue to drink and place a Timu order later. <laughs> You wanna see that? Let's see if I do a drunk team order. <laughs> you know, I could use some fun stuff. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is this? A little black cat. Oh my God, these are so cute. And it's an air purifier. <laughs> Bitch, love to see it. Okay. I don't think the kimchi one is a fucking air purifier. It's just a fan. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that. I love the concept. I think it's really cute. Had it been like $10 maybe? I'd be like, okay, adorable. Or even 12 bucks, but to be $35, when you could just go online and just like search the bellies of hell and you could find it for $5, it's like, mm, who you fooling, bitch? Who you fooling? Again, if the packaging maybe was a little bit better, maybe I could justify the $35, but like it's cute. It's not like the show pig, you know what I mean? It's not like the prize winning pig here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna call this major copycat vibes because it's definitely, you know, giving me Dyson vibes. And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. Uh, the next one is from Michaela. Okay, so Michaela, well, this is already sold out, so like we won't be long about this one. Michaela did an e.l.f. cosmetics collaboration, which I think is very fucking smart. Just very fucking smart in general. She released a lip duo, a limited edition lip duo for $12, and you have a lipstick and a lip liner that when I tell you, when I see the color of this, I hate it. <laughs> This reminds me of the Margaret Candleflame lipstick that I have from Gucci. Margaret Candleflame! That shade basically looks like I've been eating out of the toilet. Like, <laughs> all kinds of fucked up um and that's what this is giving me sometimes shades like this are just not meant for all um and i know on my ass it would just make me look like i need a wellness check so uh it's a no for me it's a more of a i rather not moment also too it's kind of giving me like um early 2000s concealer lip it's not for me it's not for me um but in any case I think the whole thing was pretty fucking smart. From a business standpoint, it's fucking smart. And I think the shit sold out in like 15 minutes. Well, fucking congratulations for that. But yeah, this is a no for me. Even if it was still available, it's just that color combination on my skin. No, it's just, it's, it's, it, no. <laughs> There's gonna be more questions uh, than there is compliments. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a no for me. But if you did pick it up though, I would love to know what do you think about the quality of it? I'm always really curious. I think when it comes to e.l.f. lip products, I never really found anything that kind of tickled my makeup pickle, but maybe I just haven't found the right thing yet. I don't know, I usually really like e.l.f. so, but, but this is a no for me. So, so with that said, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Next. Okay, I don't know what this is, um, but it looks like there's a new beauty brand amongst us kids. And it's, what the fuck is this? Say hello to Toy Box Brands, created by, oh, Jared Blandino. <laughs> and Jeremy Johnson. Mm. The Toy Box Brands is a cross-category incubator. I always think of Silicon Valley when I hear that word. They're planning maybe two brands a year in the next eight to 10 years, probably about 16 brands. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, okay. Here are the first two brands that are dropping in July and August, followed by a makeup capsule collection for Madonna's upcoming tour inspired by the singer's seminal beauty. Okay, so the brand is Diamond Drunk, which looks like it is a perfume brand. And then you have Polite Society, which is giving me, um, I want to call this Pretty Little Liars. What the fuck was that one brand? Oh, that one brand that sucks so badly. It was like a demon in the mascara. Pretty Vulgar. That's what Polite Society is. It's Pretty Vulgar rebranded. Also, what the fuck is this packaging? It's like an egg shape. Go flush yourself. I hate this so much. Okay, nothing pisses me off more than just just cringy ways of cursing. I think it's fucking stupid and I just, it, my brain hurts. Okay, my brain hurts. Go flush yourself, you fucking lint liquor. I can't. <laughs> I, if, unless it said lint liquor, that's the only thing I would accept, okay? But it doesn't. Instead, it says go flush yourself. More than a pretty face, skin caring foundation out of an egg. They have a little spiky mascara, greatest lashes of all time. Diamond drunk, something blue. I don't know. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck all of this. <laughs> Fuck all of this. I don't think this is something that I would pick up. So you have the Go Flush Yourself a Blush Palette, Greatest Lashes of All Time Mascara, B.I.G. Mouth Lip Plumping Lip, Gloss More Than a Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation. It's all cruelty free vegan, retails from $27 to $42. Oh, and some of this will be available in 750 of the Ulta Beauty stores. I'm wondering if one of my stores near me will have it. Probably. I feel like Florida has like a lot of weird random things that I have never seen in New York, but I see here. So I'm curious to see the shit in person, but I don't think this is something that I would really pick up unless there was just something like earth shattering about it. But for the most part, this feels like a pretty vulgar rebrand and um, yeah, absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> I would call this like new brand, but I feel like our square is like more for celebrity brands and fuck Jared Blandino. So you get nothing. <laughs> you get a big old goose egg, my friend. Mm-hmm. Next. Oh. oh, this is bad. But are we surprised? No. So um, our good old friends over at Hourglass is coming out with the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation. And I believe there's only 18 shades. Yep, 18 shades. And <laughs> I want to say there are a good chunk that just look exactly the same. Oh, this is shitty. <laughs> fucking shitty. Lightweight instantly boosts skin moisture by 52% and hydrates all day for a dewy healthy looking glow. This formula melts into the skin to provide comfortable coverage that lasts all day, evens out complexion, plumping and smoothing the skin with hyaluronic acid to deeply hydrate the skin and make it glow. Enrich with plant-based squalene, meadow sweet seed oil, and rambutatin blend. Mm. Uh, I don't have a price here. I imagine it ain't gonna be fucking cheap. So I'm thinking maybe like $52 or something like that. That feels like about right. I think when it comes to hourglass uh, complexion products, I've never been a fan foundation stick was fucking awful the concealer was the shittiest fucking thing i think what they're good at is their powder stuff their powder stuff is perfect but when it comes to cream shit get me the fuck out of here it's insulting but not surprising right this is a really shitty shade range so like i'm not surprised <laughs> And I feel like there are so many skin tints that are on the market right now. I know the shade range is just like fucked up and laughable, but then again, it's Hourglass. And Hourglass is notorious for really only catering those who have lighter skin, so fuck them. Uh, this is a no for me. And this is just really just shitty. It's a, it's a shitty shade range. So we're gonna call this a shitty shade range. It is what it is. I don't know. I, I can't, Honestly, I can't wait to see what the fucking price is though. The price is gonna be fucking outrageous considering that there's so many skin tints right now that are on the market that are actually pretty affordable. I cannot wait to see what bullshit price they're going to attach to this. Kind of low-key excited about that. I want to be outraged. Okay, anyway, <laughs> next. Oh my god, I need a refill. That's good. 
Oh, I love this. I love this and I actually picked this one up. So Give Me Glow Cosmetics uh, came out with the Butterfly Vibes palette and I picked it up because I was just obsessed with the fucking color story. I thought it was really cool. And again, I think I'm just stuck right now in this really weird like 90s nostalgic everything kind of just being bright and fun and poppy. And I was just like, you know, I haven't had a Give Me Glow palette in a long time. Why not try it? I also picked up the Blueberry palette too. I don't know when the fuck it's going to show up. Whenever the fuck it shows up, I'll have a video on it. Uh, but this looks good. It looks good. Like I said, I haven't tried Give Me Glow in a hot minute and I'm just hoping. Oh my God, wait a second. The packaging looks really cool. It's kind of giving me like Natasha Denona vibes a little bit because it looks like it's a plastic case. Oh bitch, did they upgrade their packaging? I'm so used to it just being like cardboard. Oh bitch, I'm very excited now. Even more so. <laughs> Anyway, I love Give Me Glow's formula and I just really haven't, I don't know, I just like haven't found uh, a palette in the last like year or so that like, ooh, that I really, really needed to get. And the fact that there were two back-to-back -back ones, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, and normally I would really wait to the end of the year because they usually have a killer sale around the holidays, but they are got to have items that I got to have right now. I gotta have right now. God, the, oh my God, those greens look so good. And the fucking paint, ugh. All of it, all of it, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to put this all over my motherfucking face. So with that said, we're gonna call this, I already bought it because I already put something on my face already. <laughs> Next. The next one is from, okay, listen, hear me out. <laughs> this okay I already bought this uh, because it just uh, listen my little fucking nostalgia oh my god I didn't even realize what was in this fucking thing I have never been so excited in my whole life hold on a second wait <laughs> So let me, let me backtrack a little bit, okay? NYX came out with this collection with the Barbie movie, okay? When I was a little girl, I loved Barbies. I had very toxic storylines. It was often Melrose Place. It would be like 15 Barbies and one Ken. Ken was a slut, he got around. <laughs> I used to have the Jeep Cherokee and I used to put all the Barbies and Ken in the car and then I would throw it down the stairs. And anybody that was in the car was the survivor. I was a fucked up kid, okay? <laughs> that turned into a fucked up adult. Are we surprised now? Anyway, I love Barbies. I fucking love Barbies so much. So this sudden rash of like just Barbie everything just makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy i'm so excited to go see the movie it could be bullshit i don't care i just i just fucking want to see it and i have to say there have been barbie collections that have come out ColourPop did a really cute one many many moons ago but i know glam light did one and i wasn't like a huge fucking fan of that one like i didn't buy it but it was just like man eh, who cares about that but this one i just think it's done so good and the fact that it's nyx is like bananas it's bananas i think this is fucking the most adorable little thing i've ever seen anyway so the whole set retail for $90. It should be arriving today, which I'm so excited because I didn't realize uh, when purchasing this that in the collection, there's also a little mirror that's a motherfucking flip phone and I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm about to sob hysterically. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna have a haul video out sometime next week. So I hope to include this in there. And then we're gonna do a try on later on because it's been a while since I've tried NYX. And there were one point, there were some things that I really, really loved from the brand. And then there was a lot of things that I hated. But then recently there have been a lot of complexion products that I've been a huge fan of. So I was like, you know what? Let's throw caution to the fucking wind. This could be terrible, but my heart is breaking for like all this little, just this fucking nostalgia that I just, oh God, I just, I want it so badly. So I'm hoping that it's going to be at least halfway decent. And considering drugstore lately has been pretty fucking good. I'm excited. I'm fucking excited. I'm really happy. So yes, I'm a fucking clown, but like super excited about it. <laughs> just so fucking happy about it. I didn't even notice the fucking mirror. For $90, it was worth it. Just for the fucking mirror. If this collection had a bag, bitch, okay, bitch. I'd be fucking deceased, okay, just deceased. So in this collection, you have a butter lip gloss, you have a liquid lipstick, actually two liquid lipsticks, a jumbo eye pencil set, two mini eyeshadow palettes, a cheek palette, some lashes, and then the beautiful mirror, which is like obviously the fucking star of the show. I love the packaging. I think they did a really really great job when I look at the swatches I mean they're not the best by any means but you know what it's okay 
we're gonna figure it out, okay? We're gonna figure it out. Plus, I love that there's like a bright pink real estate agent lipstick in here. Like, I'm obsessed with this. The little kid inside me is just so goddamn happy about it. So I cannot wait to try this. I need to, I need to find out. Did it come today? No, it's, no, it didn't. I just realized what time I am filming this. <laughs> Mail came, there was no, there was no Barbie. I hope it comes tomorrow. Any hoosies. I want this. I can't wait to put this all over my fucking face. And uh, I only bought this purely for nostalgia reasons. And I regret nothing. So we will call this one Nostalgia. We meet again. Next. Keys, okay? I forget they exist. They remind me of um, M -M 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 Mitchell. Every time I see them, I go, oh yeah. Yeah, hey you. And then I forget about them immediately, like two days later. And then I'm like, oh yeah, wasn't I supposed to try something? That's how I feel about this brand. It's just, I don't know, the packaging. Maybe it's the packaging for me. I've been wanting to try something from them for a long time now. And I it just, it has not worked out. It hasn't worked out. This sounds interesting though. So there is a two-in-one skin conceal, skin concealer. What the fuck else would it be, Teresa? Two-in-one concealer and tint. Multitasking skin tint that brightens and blurs for a naturally radiant skin-like finish. A two-in-one offering that can be used as spot concealing or an all-over skin tint. It's a buildable light to medium coverage, naturally radiant finish. There's 40 buildable shades, has niacinamide. It has skincare benefits with a non-comogenic formula, blah, 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 blah. And it retails for uh, $28. And I think you can only pick it up from their website. Doesn't Key, isn't Keys in Ulta? I could probably research it, but like, why would I do that? Um, <laughs> I'll look at that later. I want to try this. I want to try this. Also, the shade ranges are, oh, it's kind of giving me um, Fenty Beauty a little bit with the, the fucking numbers. I definitely think that there is a better shade representation compared to the Hourglass formula, so thumbs up there. And I think what interests me about this, especially right now, because it is, it's hot, okay? It's, it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> Like, it's so hot that I could boil an egg outside, okay? I think the other day it had like a feel like of like 110. Thank God I don't smoke cigarettes. Because <laughs> just smoking outside, like you're going to burst into flames. Like, mm -mm. I don't even like stepping foot. On July 4th, we had, uh, we have friends in town and we wind up going to Disney Springs for all of an hour. When I tell you, from when I got there to when I left, I was a different person. <laughs> I was a different person. I didn't have any makeup on my face, thank God. But if I did, it fuck, it, it would have evaporated in a second. Like it was disgusting out. It's the same level as like being in a fucking subway. Like it's just, there's like a hair dryer on your face the whole time. And it's just so wet and thick. Like it's disgusting. Okay, don't come down here in July or August, okay? Like, or September really. It's fucking disgusting down here. <laughs> But I digress. Anyway, I'm always looking for things that are kind of very, very lightweight and that even shit out. And I feel like this could be a really good thing to have during these months where it's like literally Satan's asshole outside. So I kind of want to try it. And like, I love how Alicia Keys skin always looks. It's like, she just looks perfect. Like her skin looks perfect. Everything look, just looks even and dewy and hydrated and just it looks really good. And I kind of hope that that's the, the, the product is something that like gives you a little bit of coverage but more or less just like even shit out like I have a lot of redness in my skin if I can get like a good chunk of it I know it's not a miracle worker okay <laughs> but like if it can kind of get it a little bit more neutralized where I look like I'm not having a heart attack that would be great like I'm all about that so anyway I kind of want to pick this up and I feel like if I don't go to the website now I'm going to forget about this product because I again it's just the packaging is so sleepy and because it's so fucking sleepy I literally forget about it and I second if we keep going and playing this game or if you leave a comment about the keys thing i'm gonna have to be like did we talk about that in today's video <laughs> I just forget. I forget every fucking time and I hate that. I hate that. But again, I think that says more about the brand that they're just not really nailing it in like the marketing sense. So I don't know. Anyway, if you've tried anything from this brand, let me know what you've tried. If you love it or if you hate it or if the things that you would recommend or not recommend, just let me know. I'm curious, but I have to act fast. Otherwise I'm going to forget. <laughs> so that said, I'm going to call this nothing. Yeah. Next. Oh, daddy. Daddy is coming out with more stuff from Target. Okay, nice. 
nice. So this is the Say Hello to Our New Wish You collection. Get vacay ready and live out your wanderlust dreams with this limited edition all new everyday glam essentials collection. You have three palettes, four blushes, three highlighters, flo floor. <laughs> Four blotted lips. I cannot. This juice is fucking me up. Oh my god. A, mi a mini shimmering. <laughs> a mini shimmering dry body oil. And then you have an overnight, oh, overnight lip. I want to say overnight oats. So all this stuff is actually going to be released on 7 6. So by the time y'all see this video, it's already out. You can actually pick this up on ColourPop on 7 6. Or you can go to Target starting the 9th, which is. Sunday? Yep, Sunday they'll actually have this released out, which I think is really cool. I have to say, if you haven't been to Target lately and you do have like a ColourPop section, it's actually really fucking cute. And usually that section is rocked the fuck out. <laughs> More so than say like Elf or whatever, like that section is usually ransacked. It's it's actually kind of amazing. And I really love these little collections that they've been putting out for Target lately. They're really cute. ColourPop's formula in general is like really hit or miss, right? Our Lord and Savior, our Skynet ColourPop. <laughs> Don't want to piss off daddy too much. So the quality is fine, but I mean like for the price point and for like these little palettes, they're like really fucking adorable. This is something that is like a nice little thing. If you actually, if you are on vacation really too, and if you forgot like some of your fucking makeup at home like this is just like such a nice little easy get you know what I mean I actually really like this I usually get ColourPop PR so I'm curious to see if I will be getting this stuff I hope so because I kind of want to try that green palette out that middle one even though it is a basic bitch palette and the only thing that is like really exciting is that um that green gold shade but actually wait even this palette next to it though has like a duochrome in it bitch what the fuck this is exciting okay I'm excited I I don't know like I I'm I'm really curious to see how all of this is actually going to look in hand um and the blotted lip formula not my favorite formula in the past so i'm curious to see if there's like been an upgrade to it i think it's just such a cute little collection and i feel like lately ColourPop has been it's either doing two things it's like going really hardcore with like their ip stuff the vibe of this stuff is giving the same energy of the little like monochromatic palettes in a way that was like such a big deal back in like what 20 when the fuck did I start doing YouTube 2018 2019 remember like all the little monochromatic palettes like it's giving that same vibe except they're kind of releasing it as like targets shit and then kind of really like pulling out the big guns for all like the big IP collections it's it's actually been a very interesting trajectory what am I saying <laughs> I love how I'm like trying to sound like I understand what the fuck I'm saying it's just been very interesting okay and I'm I need to always be good about fucking Skynet because, <laughs> because as someone who's been watching all the Terminators lately, we need to be on their good side. <laughs> so I hope daddy sends this to me because I'm really curious to see what the quality is going to be like. And those highlighters look fucking nice, bitch. Instead of the blushes. I love the blushes. Anyway, um, yeah, this is cute, but we're going to call it ColourPop. Yeah, we're, we're just going to keep on keeping on. Thanks, daddy. Next. These look so fucking interesting. And then I'm like, oh no, they're she glam. <laughs> no, thank you. I was about to call these she by Sheree and it's not the same thing. Not the same thing. So you have these tiny little palettes, which they're called the vinyl pop pop cup. Yeah, boo, 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 boo. vinyl pop color palettes. They retail for $7.49 a piece. I'm sorry, two of them do, and then one of them $7.99? Whatever, anyway. You have Rose Sonata, Color Me Crazy, and Sun Kissed Reverie. And what makes these, pa oh, okay. There's a couple things that make the palettes really cute. One, the packaging. The packaging looks fucking amazing. Amazing, like it looks so fucking cute, the outside packaging. But when you get to the inside of it, I think what is so interesting is that little swirl. What the fuck is that swirl? Is that anything? Is that anything? Also, why are these like formulas? Wait, oh, hold on, wait. <laughs> read about these. These palettes will take you a trip down memory lane with metallic foils, frosty shimmers, bold mattes, and more. With transparent lenticular effect for an added nod to nostalgia. Okay, so why do these shadows look waxy? They look like cream formula, right? And then what are, are the circles something? Because if the circle is like a fucking shade, like that's fucking cool, bro. But I kind of think they're not though. I think it's just a stupid color and then it's just the thing in the middle is like that glitter shit. What the fuck is it? <laughs> I'm so intrigued. And then again, I remember that it's She Glam. And we don't want that. I've, n I've never heard anything good about She Glam. And I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole, okay? But I gotta say, the packaging though is fucking killer. <laughs> it's fucking cute. A for effort, because it's something different. But I just am so confused. 
why is those shades look so glossy? What is it? The formula is so interesting. I feel like the more I think about it, I'm gonna get an aneurysm. Like, I don't understand. I need to like see if somebody has a review of this because, oh, that's so, that's even weirder. So it's not glossy? I'm so fucking confused. Oh, that is a shade? Is it not a shade? <laughs> or is it? Oh, is that a liner? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I love how mad I'm getting. I'm just like, I don't understand what this is. I don't get it. I don't know. I hate this. I love this. I don't want anything to do with this. But A for effort. <laughs> did anyone buy this? If you did, is what? what is this? What is this? I don't know what the fuck this is. It's kind of cool though. But like, it's a no, it's a no, whatever. I don't think I can say anything other than like my brain's about to explode. Next. Did I buy this? I did, I did. And um, I blame my uh, friend from college, Sean, because he said, hey, you should buy this. And I'm like, you know what, Sean? You're on to something. Let's give it one more shot. Um, so I did purchase the new Is Amaya palette. Now, if you are new here, I didn't like Byredo stuff, and and the owner of Is Amaya was a part of Byredo, and uh, blah 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 whatever. Anyway, the Byredo palette freaked me the fuck out, and I had to like bury it in the floorboards of my queen's apartment. It's now currently haunting the occupants of the apartment. When Is Amaya came out, um, the first palette that they launched like looked really cool, but I was like, I was too scared to make the investment of like $115 uh, to be ultimately disappointed because that's kind of like what happened with Buy Radio. But my friend Sean talked me into it and was like, bitch, buy it. And I'm like, you know what? Sean, I always liked you. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. So we're buying this bitch for science. Or I should say, I bought it for science. I actually bought this and I bought, um, I don't know, there was something that looks like it was in a cock ring. <laughs> it was like a little ball, some hydrating juice, I don't know. We're gonna fucking make it work. But I love the color story of this one. I would show you my dick lipstick, but that gets me demonetized, so we can't do that anymore. But like, I, I do like some of like the aesthetics of this brand, but um, I have no expectations. I'm hoping that this is going to be better than Byredo, and if not, then I'm going to bury this. <laughs> And um, it's gonna be like a poltergeist situation, potentially. I live in a subdivision. <laughs> it's just gonna, obviously we're on an ancient burial ground. Demons and shit are gonna be popping up. But you know what? I mean, I am a little bored here, so I'm down to clown. And if Isamaya Beauty is going to be the thing that just makes things a little bit more interesting in Florida, then so fucking be it. The palette retails for $115, so <laughs> it better be good. <laughs> It just looks like fun, kind of slutty, industrial club makeup, giving me like weird Matrix vibes. And I'm kind of like into it, I don't know. Some days I'm like a neutral Betty and I'm like, I just want to be like proper and shit. But then sometimes I just want to look like a sex doll in a dungeon. And I feel like I can achieve that with this palette. So, and also the, the palette is just kind of giving me like Han Solo Carbonite ghost sexiness. <laughs> fucking it's just weird it's weird it's weird i love it it's weird it's freaking me out and it's, it's my kind of shit plus there's like a julia fox video i don't know it's just fu it, this brand is so fucking wild anyway expect a video of that in the future i don't think i oh no i can cause i'm calling this i'm buying this for science is amaya finally wore me down we're trying it and we're gonna see if it's good <laughs> if not i am gonna be thoroughly upset next What the fuck is this? I hate this so much. So this is from Ulta Beauty. I, what is going on with this collection, okay? So Ulta Beauty released these uh, makeup sets for $25 a piece. You have Coffee Break at the Orchard Under the Stars. It looks like you get a weird eyeshadow palette, highlighter, and some sort of like lip gloss, lip liner set. What the fuck is this? <laughs> bundle deal that nobody wants. And also, Ulta, shame on you. You make a lot of money. You can actually take that money and invest in good packaging. You can invest in something pretty. I think this is probably the ugliest thing that they put out. What is this? Who is this for? And why did they release it? No, what the fuck is <laughs> What's this bullshit? Not me, not I, not God, no. Hell no. 
Honestly, for $25, this is fucking expensive. Considering what it looks like and what you get, absolutely the fuck not. If this was $15, I'd be like, okay. But $25, where you know they're making at least a 10,000% mark. <laughs> It's definitely a 10,000% markup. There is no fucking way that this reason <laughs> this is worth $25. This is 25 cents. Like, what the fuck? I just don't understand their packaging. They're Ulta. They're fucking Ulta. Sephora. This, okay, listen. Sephora, their own brand, which there have been some really, really good fucking things from their brand. They have such cute fucking packaging sometimes, especially with the, like their lipsticks or whatever. Sometimes they're like little palettes and shit like that. Like they're trying. Why is Ulta not trying? Mm, you know what this reminds me of? Um, this reminds me of the like elementary school the cutouts that you know uh, like teachers would have like for like certain holidays or some shit like that like the stars or like an apple or whatever and it would just be like construction paper and they would just like put it on the walls and maybe like they would put like a kid's name on it or something and just like stick it on the wall that's what this reminds me of um or i'm trying to think of uh if when i used to go to stop and shop and they would be like some sort of fucking thing like you spend five dollars and they just like write your name in a heart and it would go to like st jude's or some shit like that like that's what this reminds me of. I, I hate this. I fucking, I absolutely hate this. This is weird. And for $25, you got some balls charging that. This is a bundle deal that nobody wants. Ulta doesn't even want it. <laughs> Oh, fuck this. Is it supposed to be? It's weird because it's also kind of giving the vibe of like back to school slash potentially like patriotic July 4th. Like what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? This is a no for me, dog. No. <laughs> but if you did buy it though, let me know. What is it? I'm curious. Okay, with that said, I'm going to call this a bundle deal that nobody wants because nobody fucking wants this. Next. Okay, like, what is this? <laughs> well, okay, so I don't understand. Okay, listen, Laura Mercier, the brand that is just so annoying with their stupid setting powder that I fucking hate, they have been releasing a lot of products lately. Usually they're very, very sleepy, you know, I always consider them like a boring fucking basic bitch brand. But now it's like they're jumping on the heels of like Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury with coming out with packaging that is like, I need to, brands need to stop doing this packaging. I, I don't understand why they're doing this packaging. Like, why? Why? Like, can't, you, you, fuck, you can't think of anything else? Like, I'd rather have a roll-on, a rollerball from the fucking 90s than to have this stupid cushion tip bullshit that always leaks out, always fucking messy. No matter how many times you try to close it, it's never closed. It's so fucking gross, and it's just so soft and cold. I hate this packaging so much, and I'm just so tired that this is, like, the trend now. Like, we're just gonna follow what fucking Charlotte Tilbury, almost to a T, it's kind of like Charlotte Tilbury and Elf had a baby and then here comes Laura Mercier. It's giving that same vibe. Or even Flower Beauty. Like, what the fuck are we doing, y'all? Or Tart. Tat. <laughs> <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, what, what's going on here? $40 for a highlighter. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, so uh, there's a glowing liquid highlighter that balances rose tones, radiance, and coverage in three shimmering shades for all skin tones. I love that claim. You have champagne pink, neutral light pink shimmer, gold glow, a warm gold shimmer, and a peach bronze, a warm peach shimmer. Yeah, bitch, this is a no for me. This isn't absolutely the fuck not. Mm -mm. I, I really wish that these like brands would just kind of get it together and stop just jumping on the heels of fucking Charlotte Tilbury. Like Charlotte Tilbury, leave her alone. Let her do her thing. She's off doing her own fucking thing. Like don't jump on this trend of just fucking shitty, ugly packaging that is just so gross and ugh, I'm like, I hate it. Especially for $40, like get the fuck out. No, 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 no. This bitch doesn't even go here. She doesn't even go here, okay. <laughs> In a burn book scenario, this, <laughs> we just all be screaming at her, get the fuck out of the gymnasium, all right? Like, I just can't. I want this trend to stop, and I don't know how, I don't know how. We don't need another product like this. Like, it looks like it's a very nice highlighter. It's just turning me off the fucking packaging. Like, ugh, I hate it, I hate it. Anyway, she doesn't go here. Fucking come back with some new packaging and maybe I'll consider it. Uh, <laughs> next. And there you have it, babies. Uh, we hit fucking. Hey, yeah, motherfucking make a finger. Mm -hmm. It was just a lot of anger in today's video. <laughs> it's a lot of like. Mm, 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 mm. Can't believe I almost bought a thirty-five dollar fan. The fuck.
All right. Anyway, um, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know uh, down below if you have any of these makeup products or if you're planning on buying them or if you want to tell me to shut the fuck up, let me know because I love hearing from you. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> Happy Friday. All right. I'll see you on Monday. Huh. I was just about to end the video there. Any uh, <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notifications of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and now threads, I guess. And to my wonderful, beautiful YouTube members and patrons, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, really awful, but really kind of fun. Garbage boat afloat. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly. And we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my face everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below i'm disgusting and i'll see you little cupcakes later bye